What is up, you ghosts, specters, and spirits alike? Mark with Cardavox Academy here. Thanks for hanging out. And today we're doing it. We're doing it. We're 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 gonna talk Nightwish. Now, let me talk a little bit about Nightwish. First of all, this may come as a surprise to you. I have only ever heard one Nightwish song in my life. <laughs> and that was Planet Hell. And I heard it when the album i think the album is on is once i heard it when it first came out and way back then um nightwish had a different vocalist tadia i think was her name um and so now as i understand it um nightwish is massive now people have asked me to talk about nightwish and uh flor jensen or jensen tell me if i'm pronouncing it right in the comments below if you know I'm sure many of you do. A lot of people have asked me to do Nightwish, but I've always avoided it because so far on the channel, we have tried to, or I have tried to focus on things that as a vocal coach, I will teach. And I teach predominantly screaming and like raspy belting and and gritty singing and things like that. But, you know, we've slowly been getting out of the comfort zone here and I think let's go ahead and do it. I'm a little bit late to the game here. A lot of people have uh, have reacted to Nightwish. Hopefully I can bring some value to it. But this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. It's a lot of fun. It helps with the algorithm. And if you enjoy the content even more and you want to help support this channel, we do have a Patreon with a pretty active Discord. A lot of people are on there having a good time. Um, and then, of course, I do give one-on-one -on -one vocal lessons. Not really for this. Um, <laughs> I'm not not really much of an opera singer myself, but if you want to check out my discography with Kardashev, Neverbreath, or Viremia, um, and see what kind of things I do and teach, you're more than welcome to. But let's go ahead and let's let's listen to uh, Floor's voice, because she has quite an army. She has quite an army of adoring fans, and we're going to see what it's, uh, what it's all about, you know, years after the fact. So let's go ahead and let's get started. This is Nightwish, Ghost Love Score. Um, and this, I chose the video uh, live at Vakken because I would love to go to Vakken someday when we're all allowed to travel again. Yo, this song is all over the place, but in such an epic way. I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. At 10 minutes and 22 seconds and being called Ghost Love Score, I'm imagining that this is going to be quite a journey. We've just dropped the tempo a little bit. Let's let's hope we get something good. Ah.
Yo, so uh, first things first, um, her voice is stellar. Her voice is is like is like a pure diamond. I am not hearing any any issues with with vocal fold closure and this that's not like first of all i wasn't expecting it right she's a she's a classically trained singer she's amazing i know this um already about her um but i'm definitely hearing some of the perfection that people people talk about let's keep going but amazing control over everything breath support resonance um phonation um let, let's keep going Listen to how she brought that vibrato in at the end. Nice. And it's a subtle vibrato, right? She's not all over the place, up and down. It's this nice vibrato that's happening. You know, she's got control of it, but it's also happening as a byproduct of relaxation. And that's one thing I want to really point out here. Um, I don't see an ounce of tension in her body. Like, none. And being somebody who is primarily a deathcore and death metal screamer, um, and who teaches deathcore and death metal screaming, that is something I see a lot of, and it's really a non-negotiable, um, jaw tension, neck tension, that'll ruin you. And she's got, she's got none of it. And that's part of what's letting her tone be so perfect. Her, her, her pitch, her movement between notes, the intonation, it's like, you can't really do much better than that, in my opinion. Um, I feel like she's holding back a little, but not in a bad way, like in a way where she's drawing in my anticipation. And I'm like, what are you going to give me here in the next couple minutes? Because like I, I'm already getting some some amazing technique here. Um, she's also got really good control over her vowels, right? If you look at her mouth, if you look at the shape of her mouth, her oral posture, you can see her make minute adjustments with her lips and her jaw to really make each vowel count. Right. And just watch watch your mouth while while we continue on but dang dang ooh stick flip stick flip yeah silent from the deep came to me sang my name i love you still i loved my Yeah. Worth everything I may ever be. Child will be born again. That siren carried him to me. First of them, true love's sitting on the shoulder. Oh. Now that's good storytelling. That's good storytelling. So um, throughout that section, she started a little bit warmer, a little bit breathier, right? But in a good way. Um, and throughout the song, she started to give a little bit of power to her voice. You can see in a couple spots, she actually pulled her lips back away from her teeth, brightening that timbre. And near the end there, near the end, she gave it a little bit more. And she started, she, as the vocalist, built the built that transition in our ear into the the opening let's let's go back here a couple seconds like when when the drums come in and you're like okay we're getting back into the rock and the metal vibes um let's go back here and i want you to listen to how she changes her voice she brightens up that timbre she gives it a little bit more support underneath and then we as listeners know okay something's happening here
Hold that. Hold that note, brother. Hold that note. <laughs> okay, I can hear something that's going to happen, and we're going to go ahead and listen to that transition, but I want to talk about a couple things. First of all, how about, it? to me, it sounded like an oboe. How about that oboe jumping in there? Boom, 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 and building some anticipation and playfulness. You know, like we just went from like, uh, we just ascended into like the highest part of the high forest of the elven lords, right? This this just got so cool. Also, um, one thing I'm really noticing here is like these these fans are legit, right? Like that crowd is, I think, what every musician dreams for. I think I saw like a couple people crying. I think I saw like one or two Nightwish tattoos and everybody, I didn't see a cue from the band, but everybody starts clapping, dot, 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 which tells me that that whole crowd knows this song so well that they're able to count in and anticipate collectively when something's going to happen. Now, there may have been somebody I didn't see on stage being like, come on, yeah, right? But I didn't see that. Um, so like pretty, let's let's see what's happening here. Let's Let's see what's going to happen. Yes. I'm stopping it, and I don't care who gets mad. What the heck? Like, good lord. Okay, first of all, <laughs> remember how at the beginning where I was like, I think she's holding back. I think she's like, you know, she's she's hiding what she's what she's gonna do. Uh, I think that might have been what I was waiting for. Um, and again, not to say that she hasn't been amazing already, but yo, we just heard like three completely different voicings like in, in this section. So she came in and we're going to listen to that all again because I want to, and that's what I do. I do what I want. Um, <laughs> but she had like a pretty good, not very gritty, but a very like well articulated, like rock vibe. And one thing that I'm liking about her voice really well so far is she she utilizes styles that are popular, but she doesn't fall into the stereotypical sound of that. Honestly, I'm not a big rock guy, and I know that this is not a rock song, but she used some rock singing techniques. And rock singing always kind of makes me feel like I'm at a bar I don't want to be in, right? Sorry, 
moment of transparency. And she had some rock vibe to it, but she sounded like like a war goddess, like like calling soldiers to battle, right? Um, and then we went what sounded to me, again, I'm not an opera singer. Um, I'm not trained in opera, but to my ear sounded like full-blown opera. Like we had that very, very rounded very oh oh sound that had a strong yet controlled vibrato coming up out of the headspace right just what you think when you hear opera is what i heard and then she threw on some grit like what the heck then she got like straight up like metal so we heard three different styles in the span of what was that 15 seconds shut the front door just stop stop she listen she's got to stop she's got to leave room for us to sound kind of okay comparatively Goodness gracious, what on earth? No, no. You know, first, totally off topic, but does anybody, any Star Trek fans out there, her eye decoration stuff, does it remind you of Trill from Deep Space Nine? Like, is anybody get jet, getting Jedzia Dax vibes? No, just me. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, one thing that I, I really admire about opera singers and, and classical singers is that um, anywhere they are, their voice is very present when they're singing quietly you know, with, 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 um, with a little bit of controlled breathiness, like a lower, lower rate, uh, lower vocal compression. Um, their voice is very present. It doesn't feel like it's disappearing. Um, when they are belting, right. When they are belting, when they're, when they're approaching those belts, their voice is always there, right? Sometimes we hear singers where like they've got their clear comfort zone, and then they've got their spot where they sound pretty good, but they you can tell that that's not them. Like, I don't know what her range is here. Um, I think probably easily three octaves, probably more. Um, 
And of course, if we include things like whistle register and subharmonics, we can have crazy ranges, right? Um, but my point is this. She is comfortable and she is in control wherever she is. And her voice is always present and commanding, right? She she holds an air of confidence even when she is reserved. She is in charge of this song. And I think that that's perfect. That is perfect. Um but she's also not dominating the song, right? Sometimes when we hear like symphonic metal, the singer just kind of glissando and portamento and, you know, legato all over the place. It's just like these long, for me, sometimes over dramatic techniques that are just done all the time, just wandering over top of the song. But not here. Not here. She is um, she is guiding this song. She's the captain of the ship. Damn. <laughs> Seriously. First, uh, first thing, I love that the bassist had a corona <laughs> on his <laughs> on his base cap. Like they came down from Mount Olympus, they came down from Asgard, and they're they're cool chilling with us common folk, right? <laughs> like he's like they've got this beautiful stage with this beautiful lighting, and they're all dressed just to just dressed perfectly, right? They look amazing. Corona. Humble beer for a humble man. <laughs> I like that. Um, wow. Okay. So yeah, uh, I get it. I get it. I, I see why people ha love Nightwish and love Floor so much. Um, I, I couldn't even think of anything negative to say or constructive to say, right? Part of that is because this just isn't my school of 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 vocalization but another part is just because like it was amazing right um that whole song had such a story such an epic feel and she did exactly what was needed at exactly the right times um amazing amazing takeaways from this video floor is amazing um and and really like even for us metal vocalists even for us people who all we do is like gutturals and and high screams which is fine by the way i mean that's a lot of what I do, right? Never underestimate, never underestimate working on your vowels in clean singing, right? Get yourself a, a, a guitar, get yourself a piano or a little, a little electronic keyboard like I have, right? Doesn't even have to be fancy. I think mine was like 60 bucks on Amazon. Um, play with those vowels, play with your teeth, your tongue, your jaw, find where that vowel really opens up and feels most comfortable. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> my DSLR only lets me record for so long, and uh, we're running up to that. So again, wowzers, if you <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, if you liked the content, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It really does help with the algorithm. Again, we have a 
awesome discord through our patreon with tons of fun people we've got a few nightwish fans there so they'll be happy to talk to you um but feel free to check us out on patreon if you want to help us uh, make more of these videos and if you are interested in vocal coaching for more metal and rock styles check out some of my other videos i have tons of students all across the globe um and i would love to help you out too but beyond that as always many thanks much love i'm out